Welcome to another episode of I Can Do That. Things that you should try in your own world, which are really simple and don't require much knowledge of command blocks to pull off. So today we are going to be covering status effects when you step on a certain block. So this is a grass path that I've prepared and when I get on it, I get a speed effect. When I hop off, the speed effect disappears. So we're going to be doing this ourselves this episode. So first off, we're going to give ourselves a command block. Give at P command block has to be an underscore, otherwise it won't work. Let's place it down. Now to make sure this is doing constant checks, we need to make this a repeating command block and we're going to make it always active. So this command is going to activate itself 20 times per second. So what we need to do, we need to do forward slash execute at all. What does this mean? We're looking for all the players. Now I'm going to put in three tilders, which just mean they're coordinates. So we are executing at the position of all players. Now we are going to detect if there's a block underneath them. So these are the X, Y, and Z axes. Now I'm putting these tilters there because it means relative to the player. This negative one obviously means below the player. So now I'm going to put glowstone. That is the name of this block, by the way. If you're confused about what the name of the block is, you press F3 and you look at the block and you can see on the side it says Minecraft colon glowstone and that's what we're interested in. Then I'm going to put a negative one here, which means any type of glowstone. And then we're going to go forward slash effect the nearest player to whoever has detected the glowstone underneath. So that's what at P means, as you can see, targets the nearest player. And we're going to say regeneration. So let's type in regeneration, that is the effect we want, for one second, level zero, which actually means level one. And we're going to write the word true here, which means hide particles. If you don't do that, then it will just show the particles. So let's walk on this. And as you can see, you get the regeneration effect. If I didn't include that part on the end where it says true, then you can see that it will show the particles just like that. So thanks everyone for watching this episode of I Can Do That. You guys should seriously try this in your own world. Try it out. And again, if you're confused as to what block each of these are, you just press F3 and look at the block and you can see the name of the block right there. Oh, and one more thing. The command blocks have to be in the spawn chunks of your world in order to work. So to do that, you just walk over to where the command block is and type in set world spawn. Now this will move it to wherever it is. But wherever you put the world spawn, you have to put the command blocks within 100 blocks of the world spawn. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you in the next one.